how to use Bark AI free text to speech tool. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Bark AI and how you're gonna be using this incredible tool for yourself to do the best type of conversion from text to speech for yourself, okay? So basically, to start things off, what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna simply come over to your Google and you're gonna come over and write Bark. So once you go to Bark, Obviously, you're going to make sure to go to Bark AI, not Bark.com. That's a totally different company. So you're simply going to write Bark AI, and here you go, Bark.ai.com. So Bark's No Gut Feeling team brings dozens of combined experiences in building data-driven products and all. And to get this experience, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to GitHub, okay? So normally, easily, simply come over to GitHub.com over here. And it takes you to Suno AI, which is, you know, the Bark AI's actual text-to-speech experience. And you can obviously convert things and add them to editors like Opus Clips for your short video generations if you want to. Because that's mostly what I do. I use Bart to get a text-to-speech. And once I get my text-to-speech, I upload it into my Opus to get, you know, the best type of generated clips for myself. So... Yeah, when text to speech has like brackets around words that give tone to words. So, for example, if I wanted to say I'm very mad, right? I said that in a very angry tone. However, when you do text to speech, you are going to want to add in the emotion prompt. So, let's say, wait, let me just uh, add this over here. So, <laughs> but I also have other interests such as playing. Take so, as you can see, this person has added a simple prompt over here which says it's a basic usage in python okay it's a demo so from bark they imported a file so the text prompt is hello my name is suno and i like pizza it laughs but i also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe so you can obviously see that you know and uh and i like pizza <laughs> so it looks pretty real pretty authentic then you can obviously add in korean inputs as well <laughs> So it's pretty uh, on point if you ask me and you can add music in as well, you know. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. Obviously, it's not the greatest music preset, but it's still great. And uh, you get more longer. Audio. I have a silky smooth voice. And today I will tell you about the exercise. So that's the basic idea of how you are you know actually gonna start and uh, these are the demos of your bark ai and you can actually use code in the easiest way to import all of these uh, bark ai's features and festivities into your account and obviously a person from mit created this code which is pretty incredible because they created this code for you know users like us to use it for free so Obviously, you can show a little appreciation to them on uh, your GitHub. Okay, if you have a GitHub account, you can show some appreciation to them. But yeah, basically what we're going to do now is once we've gotten the concept of all of this on our GitHub, obviously you can download the whole file in a form of code, but to easily access this, what you can do is you can access it on Hugging Face. So you're going to go to huggingface.co slash spaces slash suno slash park. So it brings you to the Hugging Face Bark section over here. And on Hugging Face, you can see that Bark is a universal text to audio model created by Suno AI with code publicly available. Okay, and Bark can generate highly realistic multilingual speech as well as other audios, including music, background noise, and simple sound effects. And you know, you can use this demo for research purposes only. Commercial use is strictly prohibited, so don't output this to use it for your commercial uses. And the model output is not censored, and the authors do not endorse the opinions in generated content. You can use it at your own risk. So, obviously, don't get you will get copyrighted in the risk of doing that. So, yeah, first of all, uh, let's go ahead and input some type of text. So, we're gonna write, Hello, my name is Max, and uh, I'm so let's add some coughs over here. Very sick as you okay and then we're gonna stop it again we're gonna add coughs again i said two coughs this time let's see how it operates on coughs so i'm very sick as you can see and then just randomly let's add a laugh in the end so once you do that 
you're gonna choose the speaker prompts as well so i'm gonna go with this speaker over here and uh once you do all of this you're simply gonna click on run okay and hello my name is max and i'm obviously you can add coughs you can add laughs and once you do that you can see that it adds you in queue and it says that you have to wait for these many seconds so obviously it makes sense because a lot of people are actually in queue and it takes a little time to process and you can add different emotions okay you can add in laughs for yourself you can add in cries coughs you know whatever you want and you can get non-speech sounds over here as well so there's sighs clear throats laughs laughters you know different types of strongs and you can try the prompt clears throat hello my name is suno you can add music prompts by adding these music widgets and a whole lot more so in my opinion this specific type of uh, you know ai speech to voice generator it's pretty incredible and i would definitely recommend all you people out there to use it now don't use it directly from the hugging face or git uh, section for commercial use if you want to use it for commercial use then do make sure to take off the api from here and create your own program or at least ask the creators at Suno. You know, you can contact them pretty simply by, you know, contacting them on Discord. Their Discord is right here. Okay. So just contact them over there. Or what you can do is you can simply download this their actual code. So here's their actual code. And uh, you can open that up over here. And once you open it up over here, you can simply go into Bark's uh, main files. And once you go into Bark's main files, it gives you, you know, the main Python files to add the command line interface and all. So, you know, it has the main files where you're going to add the necessary things. And uh, yeah, basically use all of this together to create yourself an amazing and a great looking prompt. So as you can also see over here, seven people are currently queued to, you know, get their voice generated, which is pretty incredible. Once your voice is generated, you can actually take that audio, listen to it as uh, easily as you want. But obviously, if you take the API for this off of GitHub and use it in your own program, this shouldn't take this much time generally. So that's why I would recommend that if you are big into coding and you know how to add APIs into your own program, then yeah, I would definitely recommend you to shift yourself to that type of working. But yeah, moving on. This is the general idea of how you are going to use uh, Bark AI. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.